With the end of daylight savings time right around the corner, what better time than now to talk about an electronic digital light and appliance timer? Hello there everyone, I'm UXW Bill, and this is a Sears branded electronic digital light timer. Now its control set is pretty basic, but it's also everything you would expect from a timer. You have adjustments for both the hour and minute, an event button that allows you to program up to six or seven different timer cycles, and an on and off button that allows you to operate any attached load manually if the need should arise. There's also a recessed button with no label on it that serves to reset the clock and clear all the programs should it malfunction or if you simply need to do so manually for some reason or another. On the front of the timer there is a clock display complete with blinking colons. There's also a switch that allows you to choose from fully manual operation, automatic operation in line with the programs, or randomized automatic operation that while it actually requires you to define a program ahead of time, varies the start and stop times of those programs so that, for example, something like a vacant property with a lamp plugged into this timer looks just a little bit more lived in and hopefully deters thieves or vandals. The final control on this unit is a switch that allows you to change between programming mode, timer running mode, or clock setting mode. This unit takes its power from a single AA battery, unlike a lot of other timers that actually have a capacitive dropper arrangement within and a small rechargeable battery. However, that's definitely good news for the longevity of this little timer because whenever the battery runs down, all you have to do is open the door on the back and replace it. Unfortunately, I do not presently have a model number or any other identifying information for you about this timer. I believe it dates from sometime in the mid 80s but the label and its glue have succumbed to the effects of time and are no longer with us. I think the label is somewhere upstairs in my bedroom. I got this all the way back in 2013 and you're probably sitting here wondering what would make a simple little timer like this, an everyday object, so video worthy? And it has a lot to do with the fact that I've never adjusted the clock on this since I bought it. And as you'll soon see, it is still within about 30 minutes of the 30 minutes, 30 seconds of the correct time. Obviously it wouldn't be any great shakes. It would be a serious problem if it was 30 minutes out from the correct time. But as I have very informally counted it, this thing is still within 30 seconds of the correct time despite it being several years since I put the battery in there. And usually when you go to buy a store branded product, the store that sells it would have you believe that it's every bit as good as the national well-known brand happens to be. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. In the case of this timer, and hopefully more than just this single example, it has come true in spades. This is an excellent timer if the other examples are anything like mine, because it has kept excellent time over the years. And that is why I wanted to share it with you, just because it seems to be doing such an exceptional job. I've got a computer over here that synchronized its clock recently to a network time protocol source. It also has a seconds counter on it. And we'll just go ahead and watch here for a minute or two so that you can get an idea of how far out the two happen to be from one another. But I think I am correct in my assessment of saying that there is about 30 seconds worth of difference between the two clocks. The timer just clicked over to the 11th minute after the hour. And we'll just watch it here and see what goes on. It's very exciting stuff. If I should find the model number label in my room, I will certainly post that in the video description. Like I say, I know it was around as of about a year ago, but maybe it's been pitched in a cleanup effort since that time. and there it just clicked over. 
So if you felt like it, you can figure out for yourself just how much difference there is between this thing setting and a reliable clock synchronized recently over network time protocol that should be pretty close within a couple hundred milliseconds either way of an atomic time source. By the way, please do not be worried about the seeming wet looking spots underneath this crystal bezel. It's been through the mill. This thing's had a rough life before it came to visit me. And I cleaned it up rather hastily and unfortunately just a little bit of the cleaner managed to get underneath that crystal bezel. So thank you as always for watching and certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one.